If you've ever wondered about the true meaning of multitasking, perhaps watch your kids when they're online next. A young boy in his bedroom. Listening to music, chatting to friends, playing games, navigating a mouse, keyboard, phone screen, watching videos, downloading files and uploading pictures, oh, all while they're doing their homework. Phew. A concerned parent stands at the bedroom door of their child, who is using a computer. In such a connected world, how do we manage our kids' time online when face-to-face gatherings quickly turn into group smartphone sessions? A group of young kids sit next to each other in a park, each typing away on their mobile devices and not talking to each other. A large Godzilla-like dinosaur foot pounds down next to them, but no one notices, and they continue typing on their own device, uninterrupted. Relaxation and downtime involve searching, downloading, scrolling and clicking. A young girl sits on her bed at night in a zombie-like trance, staring into space, not blinking. A stream of drool hangs from the corner of her mouth as she frantically types away on her mobile device. Socialising with friends entails liking, commenting, messaging and poking. Two young boys sit on a lounge playing a fighting video game. Gaming no longer requires a skipping rope, a doll's house or a chessboard. A young child lays on the floor in an empty room, trembling and curled up in the fetal position. A mobile device lies on the floor next to him with a message on the screen, no signal. Some fear our children's online entertainment has slowly evolved into a permanent fascination. Of course, spending a few hours online a day may be developmentally appropriate behaviour for young people. Gaming can assist in development of problem-solving skills. A young girl with her leg in a cast sits at her home computer, playing online Scrabble with a friend. Social networks can allow kids to explore new friendships and enhance communication skills. A boy sits alone on a school bus, typing away on his mobile device, while other children in the bus listen to music, laugh, carry on and interact with each other. However, too much time using online technologies could also be an indicator of problems such as cyberbullying, friendship difficulties and mental health issues. Where do we draw the line? A young boy is shown in two different scenarios by a split screen. One shows him at night, overtired and clicking away frantically at his home computer. The other is during the day, with the boy using the computer in a relaxed manner. And how do we know when to unplug our kids? And how much time online is too much? An oversized mobile phone is depicted as the devil, clutching a young crying girl in one hand, while fire and brimstone bubble around them. Experts say excessive screen time can lead to behavioural disorders, disrupt sleep patterns and impact brain and physical development. The young girl lies awake, shaking in her bed with fear as she clutches the quilt to hide. If you've ever wondered about how to promote a healthy online-offline balance in your household, then this Chatterbox episode is for you. 3 logos appear. The Australian Government Crest and the words Australian Government, the ACMA Australian Communications and Media Authority and CyberSmart. The end.